let's check out some of the Alex problems that you are ready to solve. So this is in homework two, and the first one I'm gonna work on is writing an acid dissociation constant expression. This is a fancy way of saying writing the equilibrium expression for this acid. And so what this problem is wanting you to do is write the, the Ka, the equilibrium expression. I'm not exactly sure why it wants it to be on the left side, but that's fine. And it's telling you the reactant is benzoic acid. It gives you the formula with water. So let's just kind of practice how we're going to do this. We always know that it's going to be the molecule that they provided, so HC6H5CO2. Oops, I forgot my carbon. CO2, and these will always be, always be plus H2O, even if it doesn't tell you with water, it is with water, in equilibrium. And because this is an acid, and we know it's an acid because first of all, it gave us Ka, and second of all, because it's using the word acid up here. When we know it's an acid, we know one of these products is gonna be H3O plus. We have to figure out what that last product is. That uh, product came from H, from the benzoic acid, moving over to the water molecule when we lose the hydrogen from benzoic acid, we are left with C6H5CO2 minus, that is our other product. The equilibrium expression that it wants is the product H3O plus and the other product c 6 h 5 CO2 minus over our reactant HC6H5CO2. We're leaving out water because we always leave out pure liquids. Make sure it is crucial that you use square brackets. You cannot substitute for parentheses. You have to use square brackets. Remember, square brackets mean something in chemistry. They mean molarity. So that's why we must use the square brackets. Also, if you're getting these problems wrong, make sure you're including the charges. You have to have the charges there, otherwise Alex will count it as wrong. Now you have a similar problem in Alex, um, writing a base protonation constant expression. This is almost the exact same thing, but this time it's with a base instead of with an acid. So here we know it's a base because it tells us we have a weak base. It gives us, it says Kb, and then also it's using the word base up here, and it wants the equilibrium expression for this again. So we're gonna start with the molecule that they provided, CH3, two, and H, and every single time, 100% of the time, it's plus H2O in equilibrium. When we are dealing with a base, one of our products is always OH minus. Base makes OH minus. Acid makes H3O plus. Knowing that one of our products is OH minus makes it easier for us to predict the second product. Where did the OH minus come from? It came from the water moving one of its hydrogens over to the base, CH3, 2, and H. So when that hydrogen gets transferred, our other product is CH3, 2, NH2+, plus, because it's added that extra hydrogen, and the Kb for this is product OH minus other product, CH3, 2, NH2 plus over the reactant, CH3, 2, NH. Make sure you have square brackets. Make sure you have charges. Make sure you have everything superscript, subscript correctly. And that's all this is asking.